Previously on the Talking Kitty Cat series. Uh, Sylvester, you made four hundred and five dollars. Wow. You sure you want to spend it all on wet food? Yeah. I snuck into the office, got it on the computer, and I changed my pay rate. Sylvester, you got your check from Taco. You made ten thousand dollars at Taco. Wow. I, I cashed your check. Here you go. I am sick of cleaning this up, Kitty. What do you think? You own the house now? Well, yeah. Get out. <sighs> Sylvester, you're not gonna kick me out. Now listen, can I? Can I just borrow a little bit of money from you, please? Why? You, you know, for like bills. No. I bill. No, I meant what I meant. I meant cat food for cat food. Okay. Okay. Thanks, buddy. I'm just. I'm just gonna take a little bit, and then I'm. I'm I'll pay you back. I promise. All right. Thanks, Kitty. I actually want to use the money to build Sylvester's late birthday present, which to be honest with you, I have no idea how he's doing this. He just works his little taco job, and then he gets these massive paychecks in the mail, and then I go cash them, and then he just wants it spread out all over the floor with his wet food cans, which actually I need to go clean up again. Oh, I finally got your mess all cleaned up. Good. So, so no like thank you or anything? No. Well, you're welcome. And what's the deal with Gigi? Her butt's been stuck up in the air for days. I keep trying to push it down, but no matter what I do, I can't get it to stay down. Any idea how to fix this? Yeah. Well, well, well will you fix it? Yeah. So, so, so you just won't help out? What, what do I do? Should I like take her to the vet? Okay, now she's walking around the house with her butt in the air. Kitty, I'm freaked out. What do I do? Just poke her with your finger. I don't understand how that's gonna ha- wait, wait, is she in heat? Sylvester, that was gross. I know. But I, I forgive you. Besides, I got a surprise for you, Kitty. So yeah, I did miss Sylvester's birthday this year again, but I totally feel like I can make it up to him. I keep I keep seeing these things online called a, a catio. It's like an outdoor extension to your patio for cats so that they can go outside without the dangers of them running away or getting hit by a car or anything. So I wanted to use Sylvester's money to buy enough materials and lumber to go ahead and build a thing. It's gonna take a whole lot of days and a whole lot of work, but I think if I do it right, he's gonna love it. Do you know what your present is? No. Well, just just try to guess, Kitty. What? <laughs> All right, it takes a lot of screws. Her? No, no, it's not 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 Gigi. Wood screws. Uh, so, any idea? No. A catio, Sylvester. What? Yeah, I'm gonna go build it right now. I want catnip. All right, measurements look good. Just add a little spackle, and and that's it. I did it. I I made a catio. Oh my God, Sylvester, Gibbyson, you gotta come see this. It's finally finished, Gibbyson. What, what do you say? Do you want to go outside, Kitty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, not not through the front. It's it's through the back. See, I worked really hard on something for you guys. It's, it's called a catio. Would you want to go check it out? Yeah. No. Well, you're, you're going to whether you like it or not, Kitty. There you go, Gibbyson. Enjoy yourself. I'll be back. I'm gonna go get Sylvester. Gibbyson and Gigi are already having a blast in the catio. So. So maybe you should go out there and check it out for a minute. Come on, Kitty, I made this thing for you. So come on, just go check it out for me. No. You, Kitty, no. <laughs> you know I can force you, right? How? Like this. Come on, buddy. Let's go check out the catio. You're going to love it, Kitty, I promise. All right, here you go. Enjoy your late birthday present, Sylvester. And when you're ready to go back inside, just use the flap. It's super easy. Dear Diary, June February 11th, one. So my human slave made this hideous outdoor extension to the prison. It's basically a wreck yard. I mean, it has these crazy ramps, holes to climb through, a bunch of staircases, an exercise wheel, water filtration system, and even lights so that we can enjoy prison at nighttime. I can tell he put a lot of work into this thing and honestly, I f***ing hate it. The worst part is, there's no way out. I'm completely trapped in this thing. Help. Kitty, you're not stuck. See, it's just it's just a flimsy old flap. You just walk right on through it. But no, 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 no. I'm not gonna hold it for you, Kitty. You gotta learn how to do it yourself. Just take your body and push through it. Come on. I can't. Yes, you can, Sylvester. Just just walk through it. Okay. Come on, let's go. How? Sylvester, I already explained this to you. I don't understand how that. Uh, you're like the smartest cat I know. It's somehow you're capable of opening every door in the entire house. Yet yeah, you cannot figure out a cat flap. No. I'm coming out. Yeah. Just just push. There. There you go. There you go. I knew you could do it, Kitty. <laughs> All right, even though you can't see Shelby girl, we can do this. Come on, let's go, let's go outside. Hey, hey, Sylvester, I'll be right back. I love you, buddy. Go f yourself. Okay. Oh, Shelby, do you always have to go right between my legs? Okay, you be a good girl. Don't go far. I'm just gonna go check the mail. I'll be back. Oh, I hope Sylvester got another paycheck. That would be so freaking awesome. All right, girl, come on, let's go inside. No, 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 watch out, watch out. Okay, come on, Shelby girl. <laughs> let's go inside. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's go. Let's go around the other side. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna open the door. Just come on. Nice and slow. Whoa. Okay. What is this?
from the FBI. I'm being charged for payroll fraud? Kitty, I, I got a big problem, buddy. Yeah? Well, yeah, me, but both of us. I think we could be in a lot of trouble, Kitty. How? Well, I, remember when we used my social security number to get you that job? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we should have done that because I got a letter today from the FBI. What does it say? <laughs> it says that I could end up going to prison. I have to pay a bunch of fines. Basically, <laughs> it, it's, it's bad. Wow. No, this is not a wow moment, Sylvester. This is a really, really bad moment. Oh, sure. $150,000 fine and up to 10 years in federal prison. I should have never let my cat use my social security number but but you know what I think it's, it's gonna be okay I'll just I'll go to court but I'm gonna bring Sylvester with me I'm gonna make him explain everything that happens and it's gonna be fine it's gonna, it's gonna be fine so you're gonna tell him everything that happened right kitty yeah okay it's just I, I'm a little worried because I mean can I can I trust you yeah don't trip on okay, me that's okay 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 it's just did you know most people don't even know the cats can talk Local YouTube star Steve Cash is raising eyebrows in a payroll fraud case that's also causing quite a fiasco in the courts. Reporter Gavin Glasser is live downtown with the story. In a strange turn of events, Judge Harrison has been extremely cooperative with Mr. Cash, going as far as to let his cat take the stand today and make a testimony on his behalf. Um, Your Honor, if I could please bring Sylvester, my cat, up to give a statement for me. Do you want? your cat to approach the bench. Kitty, kitty, come here. Your owner says that you may have some information that would help to explain his involvement or lack of in this case. Tell him. Yeah. Objection, your honor. He's pretending he can't talk. Yeah. It's not funny. Order, 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 order in the court. Everyone, shut. So let's get this straight. When the most important part came down, all you could say was meow? Yeah. You realize everyone thinks I'm crazy? Yeah. And you, this makes you happy? Yeah. Well, Happy New Year's to you too. Started out so simple, just a kitty, kinda lazy and rude. Till my human slave told me we were out of wet food. Are you kidding me, Steve? This must be some kind of joke. But my empty plate stated we were obviously broke. So I got a job at Mickey D's, was having fun too. Till they fired me for being honest in the drive thru. That's fine, I don't mind. They can all go to hell. Before I knew it, I was hired at the Taco Bell. I changed my pay rate to make it worth preparing your lunch. But don't get mad when you find black hair in your gordy to crunch. Making so much money, I was up on the top until the checks stopped coming and I finally got caught. But that's fine. That's life, things come and they go One minute you got everything, the next day you don't So I got and lost a job or two and Shelby lost her vision But I never thought a simple meow would send my silly to prison Hey guys, I'm Steve Cash, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video And to those of you who are wondering why it takes me so long sometimes Between videos to get anything out um, it is because I have bipolar disorder, which means I spend sometimes, you know, a couple months to six months or longer uh, stuck in a really, really deep depression. And it just, it comes and goes and I don't really have any control over it. So, um, when, when it is taking me a long time to get a video out, I'm sorry. It's just that, you know, I'm struggling as well. So, either way, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.